Biochemistry is the use of chemistry to explain biological processes. It's to do with the chemicals, the substances that our body uses. The fundamental understanding of the molecular processes of life. We have structural and functional biochemistry, we have cell biology, proteomics, genomics, microbial technology, biotechnology, and underpinning it all a very strong thread that is statistical analysis, data analysis, and then we finally have in the final year a biochemistry symposium where the students all do group work and individual work to sort of you like bring the whole subject area to life as it were. It's very challenging and it pushes you to your limits. You're never going to get bored in biochemistry, it's always current, it's always changing, you know, it's very fast paced. Our staff research in the areas that we do the honours projects so the students when they come to choose their honours project are doing that work with research active staff. I find the staff are so supportive and they'll do as much as they can. Anything I need, they sort it out for me without even second thinking it. They're literally at your disposal. It's quite intimate, you know, the, they've always got an open door, you can always talk to them, email them, so it's, it's what you could always wish for. Last year, 82% of my final year graduated with two one and first degrees. Really lovely comments from the students about the approachability of the staff, the whole ethos and the feeling of, of the programme itself. It's got a good balance between like, lectures and practicals. I didn't know biochemistry was a thing when I started my level, so it was really interesting to you know, look at it and go, this is everything that I love of each subject. So yeah, it was, it was really good. Really is very attractive to a whole range of different employers. Dentistry and medicine, the pharma section, biotechnology, and also the graduate schemes. I've got placement set up for December. I'm going to um, be working in a medical labor laboratory in Zimbabwe. It's going to give me an insight, like, do you really want to do this in the world of work? The majority of my students go into either further study and then on to, to PhD. My next step is a PhD, so there's no way I could work in the field that I want to without this basis knowledge. But I think it's a uni that really cares about the students and, you know, them achieving their goals.